Alright, I got my grill cut down. It'll be in that area somewhere. I still need to do trimming and figure out exactly how it's going to fit. You can see the sides over here where it's not actually done. But for right now, what I'm going to start working on is this truss. It's been sitting around a while. You can see it's all surface rusted. It's a Barnes truss. Um, doesn't fit perfect. It needs a little bit of, you can see how it's not sitting all the way down. I'm going to need to trim a little bit in here uh, and then get this to fit a little tighter. It actually fits very well around the diff itself, but I'll get some of this trimming uh, done and it should clean this up a lot. And then uh, before I actually weld any of these spots, I'll clean up to get rid of this rust because that's not good to weld. So we'll get this thing going. All right, so I kind of marked it just a little bit. I'm going to take the flat wheel and see if I can't clean these out. Um, do both sides of it. And then once I get that done, I'll set it back on. And we'll see how well it fits. See if I need to do any trimming on these pieces. Which I hope not to, because like I said, it seems to fit pretty well around here. I just maybe have to trim some of these bottoms uh, over here maybe. Just depends upon exactly where it's uh, messed up at. Or not messed up, but where it's not actually fitting right at. On the back side, it fits pretty good too. So obviously this is open for where your vent's going to be back at. Alright, so you can see I ground down to my marks basically. And it's fitting a lot better. It's a much smaller gap there. This side still oh, this side still needs to come down. You can see there, and then uh, it's not fully up through there. So on this side, what I'll do is I'll just continue to take a little more out. Because like I said, you can see that there's a gap all the way up and over. And on this side, you can tell it's starting to close in a lot better. So I'll pull a little bit off this side, and then we'll take a little more off that side. Starting to fit in here pretty good. Got it cleaned up good. This back piece is a little bit loose still. You can see a little light through there when I pull it up. Uh, so there's a little bit I need to work with. I may just be, because I don't have it like in the exact spot that it belongs, but I'll uh, get the tubes cleaned up and get some of these spots cleaned up for to get ready to tack, and then I can dial it in a little bit better and get it to fit well. Uh, I got the whole truss wire wheel down. I was planning to uh, sandblast it, but my schedule kind of changed a little bit. So I'm going to put it back together, and then we're going to set it on here and see how everything fits. It's bond truss. Well, a lot of them do. They all fit together pretty good like this. The Artec ones, they're all the same. The way they lock together, it's pretty nice. All these fit in here, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Set this on the axle. On the top. So there we go. Now it's basically Pretty much where I need it. Got the axle cleaned up where I need to weld. I may clean a little more in some of these spots once I start getting it in there. We'll see once I get all this truss welded together. I'm gonna go ahead now and start tacking everything and then I'll pull it off and fully weld it up. All right, so I forgot to hit record, but I uh, went ahead and tacked this together. So on the axle where it needs to be. Now I can pull it off the axle and uh, finish welding it up.
For some reason this thing keeps stop recording. I don't know why. done with this truss ready to put it on the axle but on the back where this vent was it uh it was getting too tight so i don't think i was going to be able to put any kind of fitting in there i don't actually have the fitting but i know about the size of it so i just kind of drew a line and i'm going to cut this out real quick and then we can get it put on Oh yeah, that's much better. I should be able to get in there pretty good and tighten that up. Shouldn't be any issue now. Finally have time to get back out here and get this thing welded on. I uh, pulled it on and off and made a little bit of adjustments grinding under here to get it to fit a little bit better. Um, now I'm going to start getting everything tacked on, then welded, and after that we'll move on to heating the diff up and welding all that. All right, that should hold everything. Maybe I have one on this side. Okay, I'm gonna turn this some so that it'll uh, be a little bit flatter of a weld. Oh, is it gonna stop? There we go. I'm also gonna move around. You don't wanna get too much heat in one spot, so I'll weld over here, then over here, and. Move around, I might take a little break here and there just to keep everything good. Got the rest of the everything welded all the way down. I even hit a couple spots on the inside where I could reach just a little bit extra. But both sides, front and back, all the way around, are now welded. Now I gotta heat that diff up and uh, weld up around here. I'm probably gonna weld this piece just like around this corner and down to here, a little bit in here, like stitch it kind of. I'll come up some here. And then I'll come down through. I'll probably do all of this as one solid piece there, just with this corner and everything. But I'm going to heat this up to about 400 degrees and then uh, get going on it. Alright, I got everything ready. I'm going to use this uh, like weed burner style torch. I would usually use a rosebud in the past as a standard torch rosebud and heat everything, but I don't have uh, one anymore. So this is what we're going to use. I also have. Um, Ah, let's get this started. Once we get this all hot, I'll check with a tip gun. I have fiberglass little blankets and like a moving blanket. I'm going to wrap over the whole thing. I also put some rags in the ends to kind of help it hold in some heat. So if you've never used one of these things, they are awesome. Two fifty between two fifty and three hundred. Let's see, keep going. All 
All right, we're there. I'm right at 400 degrees now everywhere. Get this going, keep some heat in it before it cools down. Woo, it's hot. I got tax in to kind of show me where I'm gonna weld each thing. Okay, it's starting to cool down a little bit. I'm gonna heat it back up some. Got a little bit more heat in it. Go ahead and weld this whole flat spot over here now. That's that that's how I gotta flip it over. Alright, back's not hot enough, so we'll warm it up too. Just trying to burn that ground up. So I usually do any of this actual stuff on the floor. This is the first time I've done it on top of my table, so it's a little harder to reach all this. All right, everything's right around temp. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this so I can get it wrapped up. It. everything's wrapped up as best I can get it I'm gonna get a bungee cord and or something and try to hold this in tighter here to keep some heat there and there and we'll unwrap it soon see what it looks like I right, put the axle underneath the buggy just to get going I got some get the links and everything made but that's the first time I'm unwrapping it so we'll see what this looks like hopefully nothing cracks no issues let's see No, it doesn't look too bad. I don't see any crack issues, so that means everything probably cooled well. That should all hold. Alright, so even on the back where I welded, no problems. Nothing over there. No cracks. This is good. Right, so there we go. Whole axle truss welded on. On day 60. No major issues. Everything went good. Now I can finally start 
putting links on this thing.